subscribe to tech me spot channel and press the bell icon and never miss another update hi guys in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to fix uh, this you know number of cpus and acceleration options are grayed out in virtual box on windows 10 host okay so as you can see that i have this you know windows 10 host and i have this virtual box installed and this is my virtual machine and if i go to you know the settings and go to the system you can see i'm not able to you know you know change the number of processor so this option is you know not available to me and the acceleration one is grayed out okay guys so how we can fix this issue i'm going to show you in this tutorial okay so let me click on ok and guys in order to fix this issue uh, you need to go to your bias settings okay that is basic input output system and enable virtualization technology over there okay so for entering bias you need to press function keys like f5 or f6 or f10 or escape or delete button okay when you see blank screen while booting up of your computer so guys i have you know this you know hp laptop so i need to press f10 key to enter bias while powering up okay and guys uh, if you don't know how to enter you know your bias so you just need to open your web browser and and type google.com in address bar and guys you need to type this how to enter bios whatever your computer model number is okay so suppose if i have z5170 model of lenovo so i just need to type this z5170 lenovo okay and you can see uh, i'm getting this you know option to enter bios restart the laptop press bios key f1 or f12 you have to press bios key before operating system loads okay so if f1 or f2 doesn't work hold f and key in your laptop and press f1 or f12 okay guys so depending of your computer's model number you will get your instructions okay how to enter into your bios okay guys so uh, we are going to fix this issue okay this processor and acceleration options and guys i have hp laptop so i need to press f10 key to enter bias while powering up okay so let me show you guys so let me restart my system as you can see guys it's restarting and i need to press the f10 key on the keyboard to enter bias you can see I am in my bias okay guys and you need to use the arrow keys okay over here uh, to browse your bias okay so so I need to go to this you know system configuration okay so I'm using this you know arrow key as you can see we are on this system configuration tab and here you can see this virtualization technology and it's now uh, you know disabled okay so we need to enable it so just you know browse to this virtualization technology by using this downward arrow key and hit enter on the keyboard okay and we get this you know pop-up uh, disabled and enabled okay so we need to use the downward arrow key to go to this enabled and just hit enter on the keyboard okay you can see this you know virtualization technology is now enabled and after that you can see over here in order to save and exit uh, we need to press the f10 key again okay so i am pressing this f10 key over here so here i have this f10 key so i need to press it and here we get this you know dialog exit saving changes so uh, just press you know enter key on the keyboard in order to save the changes okay 
the PC is you know restarting and if I open VirtualBox and go to the settings of this virtual machine and if I go to the system you can see this processor I can change it and this acceleration tab is also enabled okay guys so okay guys so you tried this bias method to fix this issue but still uh, the number of CPUs and acceleration options are grayed out okay so I'm going to show you the second method by which you can fix this issue okay so guys uh, you need to go to your control panel and you can go there easily by you know typing control panel in search box okay and just click on this control panel to open it and after that you just need to click on this uninstall a program okay and after that you need to click on this turn windows features on or off okay and after that you you will have this you know this window windows feature and you have to turn off this hyper dash v if you have enabled uh, this option then then you need to turn off this and then click on this ok button and it will definitely you know fix your uh, this problem okay guys so that's it thanks for watching if you like my videos please support this channel by subscribing to it and also let me know in the comment section whether you are able to fix this issue or not